All right, welcome to Friday Night Lights, week number nine. It's the final week of the re regular season. I'm, of course, Scott Johnson, and this is Austin Sumowitz. Hey, what's up? The Davis and Destroyer in person. Yes, I'm actually next to him for one, so he's got to be very careful, otherwise he's going to get an elbow to the face. That's right, and I'm going to try to keep my teeth here. <laughs> hey, what about those games of the week? Yes, we got a lot to look forward to. Of course, games of the week nominees. We had Davison at Lapeer, Laker at Garber, and Gladwin at Standish Sterling, and the votes came in, and the winner of your game of the week for this week was this right here. It was Standish Sterling hosting the Jack Pine Conference champions, Gladwin. Now 7-0, the Panthers were coming in this. 8-0 was Gladwin, first drive of the game. Gladwin has the ball. Nick Wheeler gives it to Earl Esline on the jet sweep. He's got a few men to beat on the outside, and he does. Earl gets the opening touchdown for the Flying G's. Panthers now have the ball. Truman King takes the snap, drops back now. He's going to fire one way downfield for the Panthers. This one is going to be caught by Tucker Rockos for a 41-yard grab. And now Standish Sterling with a chance to tie the ball game up, in fact. It's third down in the red zone for the Panthers. Jack of Barlett is going to take the handoff, but it gets knocked way up in the air by the defense. And it's going to be recovered, guess by who? Earl Esline again. This time he's going to run it all the way back for an 83-yard scoop and score touchdown. A possible Hurley Medical Center play of the night. The Jack Pine champions reign supreme and finish their perfect regular season with the win over SSC. Final score 35 to 7. All right, let's move down the road. Lapeer hosting Davison with the Saginaw Valley League Red Division title on the line. Pick it up here, Braylon Hemeline here for Davison. Hands off to Jalen Flowers, who's going to take it down the sideline here. He puts on the Jets. 42 yards later, it's a touchdown. 7 0 Cardinals. Zach Oleniak here. The quarterback draw here for Lapeer goes up the middle. It is good for the touchdown. Extra point, no good. It was a 7 6 game at that point. Back to Davison. Hemeline here looking and connecting with Henry Karstarpin here for the touchdown. It made it 14 to 6 in favor of the Cardinals. Now, Lapeer ends up uh, play, you know, getting a nice play here, a nice big play here, but the Davis and D shuts them down tonight. Cardinals win the SBL Red 28 to 6, the final score. All right, it's a Bay City rivalry night as the Wolves of Central travel to face the Warriors of Western. Second half, Bay City Central up 14 10. Aiden Robinson takes the snap, follows his blockers to the outside. Few yards short of the pylon, but he gets the first down. It's now third goal, Warriors. Lucas Julian takes the ball, steps his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Western taking the lead, 17 to 14. Now Bay City Central on fourth down, three yards to go. Kevin Brown is going to get the handoff. He gets the first down, but he's looking for more. A great block here by Benjamin Sporman, and Brown fights past the last man to beat to now get the touchdown to go up 20 to 7 after a missed extra point. Bay City Western though, they did not let up. Racked up another touchdown this time from Aiden Robinson. The Warriors win the battle of Bay City 37 to 27. All right, Midland hosting Midland down for the city championship here. Let's pick it up here with Dow's Jack Backus here. Hey, he's looking and he finds Zach Parker on the screen, makes a nice cut and look at that. He is low. Gone. 78 yards on this uh, house effort right there. And it was 6 0 in favor of Dow. Dow is back, is then connected with Parker again. This is a nice pickup for 18 yards, but here come the Chemics after that. Jalen Brown here. Look at that nice little move here as he gets loose, and he's going to go 38 yards, and he gets brought down. Later in the drive, Jason Davenport finds Hudson. Gerstacker here for the touchdown, 14 yards on the play, and Midland wins the city championship in a nail-biter tonight by the score of 14-6. to six. Well, the Flint Metro League champions, Goodrich, they hosted Allmont tonight. Now picking things up, we are tied up. Jacob Sermerson is going to punch through into the end zone for the nice score. They get the point after, so they go up by seven. It's 28-21, to 21, Goodrich. Now Easton Phillips is going to... Barrel his way in. Another touchdown for Goodrich. They continue to add to their lead. It's 35-21. Simerson now. He's going to get a nice block here. Gets a little bit of help from his teammate. And he's going to make his way in. There's another touchdown. Running in there is Goodrich. 42-21 there. But and that would be the final score. Goodrich, the Flint Metro League champs, come out on top. All right, undefeated Laker moving up a couple of weight classes here to take on Garber and Essexville tonight. Let's pick it up here with... 
Garber's Cade Coquillard here uh, looking and finding Ethan Burrows, and he's got it for the touchdown. That could be a Hurley Medical Center play of the night. Later, it's going to be Connor Mc McCain here. Uh, yeah, he goes in for 10 yards out and makes it 27 to 14. Man, Lakers McCain looking for the screen pass, but it's tipped and it's picked up by Lucas Nearing here. Then Garbert's uh, Cade Coquillard here uh, to Burroughs again. This time it's going to be a 26 yarders. He gets by a man right there in in for the touchdown. Garber wins it 34 21 the final score. We got more coming up for you tonight on TV 5's Friday Night Lights brought to you by Isabella Bank. Of course, the Hurley Medical Center play of the night is coming up. But first, what do we got here for Buff One? Oh, we got a lot to look forward to and we got a big little uh, band. In fact, that we're going to see right here right now. There you go.